Today I'm going to be answering the question, what cement should I use when cementing Easy Pito's Zirconia Crown? Well, because Zerlock Ultra has so much mechanical retention, you can use any gloss ionomer or resin modified gloss ionomer. We have hundreds of doctors using either option with great success. My personal preference is hand mixed gloss ionomer. First of all, I've been using it with my stainless steel crowns for many years with great success. Secondly, I like the ability to mix it thicker than you can get with an auto mix system. A thicker mix means faster set time and it'll help hold the restorations a little more stable during that initial set, which is critical for adhesion to the dentin. Plus, it's more forgiving if your dentin gets wet compared to a resin modified gloss ionomer. Another benefit is it's about one third the cost of an auto mix delivery system. Because you need to fill the crown all the way full to displace any blood or saliva on seating, the cement cost can be significant, especially if you're seating multiple posterior units. For this video, I will be demonstrating the technique for hand mixing Ketax Sem. Ketax Sem is a powder liquid system, so let's take a look what's in the kit. First, we have the powder. Second, the liquid in its handy dropper bottle. Third, we have the measuring scooper here. Fourth, we have the spatula. Um, the spatula that comes with the kit, this plastic spatula, is not very good, so I'd recommend getting rid of it completely. And instead, get yourself a metal spatula. It is much more effective at mixing cement. And then lastly, we have the disposable mixing pad here. So let's go ahead and get started. A couple of points I want to make here. I don't mix my own cement. My assistant is much better at it than I am. We're going to be mixing two scoops of powder with four drops of liquid. That is the recommendation from the manufacturer. I like it a little thicker than what the manufacturer recommends, but get comfortable first with the manufacturer's recommendations, then you can fine tune it once you get proficient. And I usually make a little hole for the liquid. One, two, three, four. Two scoops will give you enough cement to fill one posterior crown or two anterior crowns. If you're seating two posteriors or four anteriors, I use three scoops of powder. You want to incorporate all the powder into the liquid, then spread the mix across the pad with your spatula until it's completely mixed. Now we can grab our crown, and as you notice, I'm using a plastic instrument here to load the crown. You don't have to, it's just a little easier for anteriors. Once again, my assistant does this much better than I do. You can use your spatula or finger, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you fill it up to displace any blood or saliva, and there you go. Your crown is ready to seat. I wanted to briefly discuss some misinformation that's being distributed by some of the other crown manufacturers who say that Ketex M is not a good cement for cementing zirconia crowns. Because of the mechanical retention Zerlock Ultra provides, Easy Pedo crowns are in a class by themselves in the retention category. Ketex M, or any cement for that matter, bonds like crazy to Easy Pedo crowns. But don't just take my word for it, join us next week where we're gonna go into the lab and put Zerlock Ultra to the test. 